All right, guys, today we are going to draw our shoe. So what you need to do is take off your shoe. And yes, we're going to draw our shoe. But before we begin drawing our shoe, let's talk about the type of line we're going to use to draw our shoe. You're probably most familiar with lines like this. When you typically draw your shoe, you probably draw so that your lines all are little. Those are referred to often as sketch lines, and we do not want to draw sketch lines today. Today we want to use lines that are called contour lines. This is where you make one continuous line across your paper to draw your shoe. Okay, it's not as hard as it looks. We are going to do it, but first, let's start. So you're, you have your shoe. You're going to take your shoe, and now we're just going to draw around the outline of our shoe, okay? This is all we're drawing. We're not worrying about any of this in here, just drawing the outline. So look at your shoe. Make sure it's just the side. You don't want the top or bottom of the shoe. You just want the side view of your shoe. So we're going to draw. My shoe curves up a little. So now I'm going to come over and I want to draw this part of my shoe. So now I'm going to draw Okay, and we're just drawing the outline of the shoe right now. Don't worry about anything else. You're just going to draw that outline. And we come down, and there we go. So now I have the outline of my shoe. Make sure it's nice and big because we're going to have to go in and add color in a little bit. So you want to make sure you have plenty of room. Now I want to take my shoe and I want to add just a few of these little details, a few of these lines that are on the inside to kind of give my shoe more of a shoe looking feel. And again, make sure you're using those long continuous lines, okay? Let's see. There we go. All right. So once you've got the lines of your shoe drawn and you've got your details, I'm going to add one more line right here on the rubber sole. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So now we're done with the drawing of our shoe. We need to add color. So what we're going to do is taking our markers, and no, you don't want to do the color of your shoe. You want This is going to be fun and funky. So every section of your shoe, you want to be a different color. But all you're going to do is don't color in. You're just simply going to outline the inside. So taking the side of your marker, you're going to outline the inside of that shape and then we're going to switch markers and let's pick a different color because remember each section is going to be a different color easy peasy let's get with the green All right. Um, and then on these little sections, just use the tip of the marker because you need just a little bit of color because you don't remember, you don't want to fill it in. Okay, we're just doing the outline. That's all we want to do. And I'm actually. So just using the outline. That's all we want to do here. Mm. 
Now this part, I'm just going to do it all one color since it is all the same part of the shoe. I just added a little line for detail into it. But this is all the rubber sole of my shoe on the bottom. Be very careful because you don't want to go outside the lines. You want to stay inside, okay? So just like this. Make sure you've got a thick enough line. All right. Once you have the inside of your shoe completely out, outlined on the inside, now we need to add water. So you need to get a Q-tip, and you're going to dip your Q-tip in the water. And using your Q-tip, you're just going to pull the marker out from the edges. And sometimes you may need to go and add just a little bit more water, but remember, you don't want to get too much but just enough to make the, the marker bleed and see how it's kind of creating that watercolor wash. So we're just going to kind of fill it in just like that. All right, very nice. Okay. And we're going to do that to each section of our shoe. Oh, see? Look how nice that blue is. The blue always works very well. Some colors are going to work better than others. That's just how it goes. But it's still going to turn out looking pretty neat. So you just kind of wash it over. Alright. Woo! All right, there we go. We're almost finished. And you're probably going to use multiple Q-tips because you don't want to mix your colors together. You, you know, you don't want your colors to become ugly and gross looking because if you mix all the colors together, you're just going to get a funky looking brown, and that's no fun. And that's not what we want. All right, yes. So that's what your shoe should look like. We, now, I'm going to add a little bit of detail to my shoe. I hadn't used this pink, so I think I'm going to put a little bit of this pink right underneath my shoe just to give it a little oomph, make it look a little cool. Yeah, come on, put it up. There we go. And now I'm going to take a Q-tip, dip it in water, and Smear it around. Let's make that marker bleed. And it kind of, see, because what we're doing is we're creating a watercolor effect. It's like we're using watercolors, but it's a lot easier and a lot less messy. And a lot less, it'll, and it doesn't make it quite so complicated. And we don't have as big of a chance of making a mistake. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. So now that I'm done with my shoe, we have one final step where you're going to get on Google and you're going to pick you a quote that refers to shoes or walking or even running. And then depending on where you placed your shoe on your paper, you're going to write that quote. See, I have all this room at the top of my paper, so I'm going to write my quote at the top. And I've already went on Google and I've printed me out several other several quotes dealing with shoes and stuff. So I'm going to write my quote at the top that I've got over here and do write it with the black permanent marker so that it stands out. And no, you don't have to write in cursive. I know y'all don't know how, some of you. But do write nice and neat and you want to be able to write so that it can be read. Never step in a puddle when there's, and make sure you spell everything correctly, when there's a hole in your shoe. And it is a quote, so put quotations around it. And then with our artwork, we want to sign. If you're right-handed, you'll probably be more comfortable signing in the right 
um, hand bottom corner. If you're a lefty, you'll probably want to sign in the left hand. That's up to you. That's where your signature goes. And that is our contour shoe drawing. All right, I'm done video. Y'all can talk normally. <laughs>